So let's talk about working with transitions in iMovie for iOS 7. So you can see I've got three images set up here for you equestrian fans in the room. And between each image or video clip, it's the same thing, there's a transition in place. It's that little marker right in there that I just touched on and it turned yellow. Now, you have different styles of transitions to play with. It always defaults to that particular one that I'll show you here, the nice cross dissolve. Let's watch that again. And, but we can make changes. So going from left to right, here's the straight cut. Boom. We have, and notice I'm tapping on the transition. Any theme related transition is the star. We've had our cross dissolve. Here we've got a wipe. Come on. There you go. Making our selections there. And sometimes when you touch on some of the individual effects, you'll see you get options within. So those are worth exploring as well. Now, you may have noticed that the duration of that transition was fairly brief. Easy to adjust though, again, looking at our bottom menu for transitions. Here in iMovie, you'll notice that I'm gonna tap in the lower right. 0.5 seconds is the default. You can go up to two generous seconds. Thanks Apple for that. And so we can have a longer, more gradual transition if that's what makes you happy. And the default is to have the sound effects muted, which is probably for the best because like any presentation tool, the same sound effect over and over again can drive people crazy. But if you really wanna hear and experience them, again, looking in the lower right, there is a muted speaker with a slash through it. We'll tap that, make the speaker live, and let's enjoy. You guys get that? Once more. I'm not sure if you're getting the audio. We'll see what turns up. So that's what you get in terms of working with different transitions. Now, once you've selected a transition that you like, we'll tap on it and tap on the two yellow arrows below it. Now we can choose the point of where the transition occurs between the two clips. So I'm just grabbing either top yellow bar to tell me where the transition will start on the top clip, bottom yellow bar to tell me where it will end in the clip that's to the right. And then once we're all set, we'll tap the two yellow arrows again. We've now fine tuned our transition. And that is how you work with transitions in iMovie for iOS 7. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks very much.